from classrooms to careers, Medical Academy students get the pulse on real-life jobs that await. Unveiling all sorts of new options for those waitlisted after the Choice Lottery. A local alum really strikes a chord with students who dream of making music their life's work. And stress relief through dodgeball, students and teachers are taking aim. Hi everyone, I'm Rick Blackwell. I'm Claudia Shea. Welcome to Spotlight on Education. This school year, of course, is far from over, but the focus for many is already on next year as rules are changing at many schools. It's thanks to something called controlled open enrollment. Starting with the 2017-2018 year, the school district will offer parents and legal guardians the opportunity to apply for their child to attend a school outside their regular attendance zone, provided that school is not full. It's available to any K through 12th grade student in the state who's not currently expelled or suspended. Transportation is not provided. To see a list of available schools, go to the district's website. Applications will be accepted through May 5th. This may be welcome news to students who may not have been accepted into the choice program that they desired. Earlier this month, students and parents were notified by email of the selections made by the computer-generated lottery. In this most recent application cycle, the district received a record number of applications. Approximately 21,000 student applications were submitted. The district has more than 300 choice programs currently throughout the county. Families also have a few other options. Five new magnet programs were just funded with a grant from the U.S. Department of Education. And applications are now being accepted for the next school year. The five new programs are Carver Middle School in Delray Beach, Congress Middle School in Boynton Beach, Grove Park Elementary, and H.L. Watkins Middle School, both in Palm Beach Gardens, and Palmetto Elementary in West Palm Beach. At those schools, applications must be submitted before school begins in August. Hundreds of Palm Beach County School students attended the Healthcare and Science Stars of Tomorrow Career Symposium. The event featured medical professionals who talked to the students about a career in the healthcare industry. Someday, the School District of Palm Beach County Medical Academy students may be wearing scrubs from leading hospitals and healthcare facilities. But at the Healthcare and Science Stars of Tomorrow Career Symposium, they're wearing the colors and crest from Park Vista, Boynton Beach, Palm Beach Lakes, Lake Worth, oh, Lake Worth High School. and Glade Central High Schools, and Palm Beach County Middle Schools like Congress Middle, H.L. Watkins Middle, and Lakeshore Middle. They gathered to learn about various careers and opportunities available in the medical field. At the event, some students won prizes like iPads. All the participants enjoyed a day full of activities. Breakout sessions featured healthcare professionals introducing the students to the latest medical equipment. Representatives from local colleges provided information on tuition, course offerings, and financial aid. And inside this classroom, the students learned how to perform CPR. What is the first thing you're going to do? Hey, are you okay? Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? Check for responsiveness. Responding to this class, students at Roosevelt Middle School in West Palm Beach. Sure, they are in a class on a Saturday, but they are really enjoying the symposium. I learned so much from just the few hours of being here doing these rotations with these amazing teachers and staff who have been working here. And I'm just going to take the opportunities that they maybe they didn't have and they're giving it to us and I'm going to take it and use it for good. And that's one of the goals of the event, students helping students who someday may help save lives. We taught them how to do hands-on things and basically we, I just want to teach them because you know I want to be a pediatrician when I grow older so I want to help little kids and I just want to you know encourage everybody else to do better. All of these students will do better thanks to the guidance they received aimed at fostering success long after graduation. Well, I think it's great that they get to see anything that's related to career in tech ed. And the way that it's growing, it shows every year that we're here that the school district's putting forth the effort to try to expand the uh, programs, especially with medical. Students better prepared if they choose to pursue a career in healthcare, science, or other related fields.
All right, you know they're interested in this program when they gave up a Saturday, so good for them. <laughs> Very telling, a lot of commitment there. Well, you know that the district is chock full of interesting choice programs, academies and more, including several international Spanish academies. And one of them, Berkshire Elementary in West Palm Beach, was just selected as the School of the Year by the Education Office of the Embassy of Spain. A representative of the school will be flown to Washington, D.C. in May to receive the first place prize. Congratulations to the principal, staff, and students of Berkshire Elementary School. Time now to check out other students and staff making a difference in our schools. In this week's honor roll, congratulations to the Bach Advanced String Orchestra and 8th Grade Chamber Ensemble. Both groups placed first at the World Strides Atlanta Festival. Bach was also selected as the Outstanding Orchestra Group and won the Sweepstakes Instrumental Program Award. Morikami Park Elementary is being recognized as a 2017 National Magnet School of Distinction by Magnet Schools of America. Schools are judged on their ability to raise student academic achievement promote racial and socioeconomic diversity, provide integrated instruction, and create strong family and community partnerships that enhance the school's magnet theme. A big thank you to safety patrollers at Frontier Elementary School. Here you see them dressed in blue to help raise awareness about autism. April is Autism Awareness Month, and students encourage you to also take part in raising awareness. And congratulations to the Gove Elementary Math Squad. They recently took first place in the Afro Arts Mathletics Competition. Students from Gove competed against other local schools. Way to go. And speaking of awards, high achieving students inside the Cambridge University ACE program were honored recently at the Kravis Center. ACE classes are college level courses that put an emphasis on writing, critical thinking and participation in class discussions. It's exciting when our students win trophies for being first in the state or tops in the nation. But no one on the planet scored higher than Boca Raton High School student Caleb Meredith in a class called Global Perspectives, which is part of the Cambridge University ACE program. To get the best education and then pass education, the best jobs, you don't just have to be the top of your local community, the top of your local cohort, but you have to be top of the global community, the top of the global economy. Caleb spoke at the Cambridge Scholar Awards at the Kravis Center. 300 students from 12 Palm Beach County high schools recognized for exceptional performance, including these eight students who each had the top score in the nation in their respective ACE classes. ACE stands for Advanced International Certificate of Education. These classes are college level courses. They put an emphasis on writing, critical thinking and participation in class discussions. What is that? An aphora. An aphora. Regular English classes study figures of speech. Ace English dives deeper. What tone or attitude do you think Martin Luther King exudes using those words? <laughs> He's really optimistic. Yep. At Boca Raton High School, teacher Jordan Hernandez has his students studying the speeches of Dr. Martin Luther King, looking at impact thematic concepts and figurative language. These students are taking on a very rigorous curriculum and they are having to apply what they're learning to real world situations. They're having to engage in uh, problem solving, they're having to analyze information, think critically, and those are all the kinds of skills that they need to be successful. And thank Cambridge for helping us do that. Dr. Robert Avosa addressed the students and their proud parents at the award ceremony. The school district's strategic plan provides instruction that's customized to the individual strengths, needs, interests, and aspirations of each learner. The nice thing is our school district is chock full of options for our kids. And so if the AP program is something you're interested in, that's great. We have ACE, we have IB, we also have all kinds of choice programs. So what I tell our, our parents, please just take the time to learn about all the programs that we have and find the one that we think is the best fit for your child. ACE is the best fit, helping these students become more engaged, reflective, and confident. I've had several conversations with the folks over at Cambridge University, and they really applaud what we're doing here in Palm Beach County. So great job by the teachers and students. Absolutely, high achieving students. You know, the awards, they just keep on coming for Jane Winters of Beacon Cove Intermediate School. 
A few weeks ago, we shared her story as she was surprised to learn that she had just been chosen as the district's school-related employee of the year. Well, now she's one of five finalists for the statewide honor. The program recognizes education support personnel for the significant contributions that they make. The statewide winner will receive a $5,000 cash prize. You never know what you'll find when you follow the Palm Beach County School District on Twitter. You may even find work. Construction, building, and trade fairs are taking place this month at North Tech in West Palm Beach, at West Tech in Belle Glade, and at South Tech in Boynton Beach. All of these fairs are being held in the evening. The building jobs are being fueled by infrastructure projects funded by the county sales tax increase. Who better to inspire our students than former students who are living the dream? Well, the Education Network caught up with a world-class musician who returned to class at her alma mater. Serif Brass, a quintet whose musicians represent some of America's finest female brass players, hit all the right notes with music students at Dreyfus High School. For one of these performers, this visit was a homecoming. Dreyfus was such a formative experience in my life and I was able to be exposed to so many amazing people in different aspects of art. Um, that it really nurtured me to go to the next level. The next level for Alexis was training at Juilliard School. And now, as a professional musician, she and the other members of Seref Brass perform worldwide and share their knowledge and experiences with young musicians. With the quintet, we've worked so hard that uh, with a lot of the things that these kids might face coming up soon and so being able to give back and to tell them what it's like and to give them uh, tips and to inspire them I think is really important. Students learned more about techniques such as breathing, articulation, dynamics, all of that. All of that and the inspiration to continue perfecting their craft so that they too can one day achieve this level of postgraduate success. That would be a dream, just to be making the big bucks, playing, doing what I love, playing with people around the world, that'd be awesome. Okay, Rick, and how is this for credibility? In addition to playing with some of the most esteemed ensembles around the world, members of Seraph Brass also performed with Adele on her 2016 concert tour. Pretty cool. What Pretty a great awesome. honor that is. You know, you've heard of art classes having real-life models, right? Well, one student art class took that a little bit farther. We share this video now, produced and edited by communications art student Adam Goldstick. We have an animal farm here for students to observe and draw. Uh, the basis of this is kind of like what Disney did with uh, the cartoons that he created for 101 Dalmatians and Bambi and those classic types of film. Artists have traditionally for many centuries drawn from observation and this is what our students are learning to do today. The style that we're using or they're using for, to draw with is called gestural which means that they're quick lines um, to just indicate the form and shape of the animal and then they go back later and do some detail work like maybe they'd want to concentrate on the head or the eye or maybe the donkey's ear or something like that. Like, well, like so they brought several animals so we could draw them. Um, there's the goats and um, so they're very cute and there's pigs and they move a lot so, and we're trying to draw them so it's kind of hard. Great experience for our kids. It was a beautiful day, and I think everybody had a lot of fun and learned a lot. And once again, our thanks to Adam. The student producer, Adam Goldstick of Bach, really did a great job. So thank you so much for sharing this video of the petting zoo. Just ahead on Spotlight, this is not your parents' dodgeball. Yes, things have changed for the players. Hey, but the action is still intense. We're going to take you to the school in our district where they hold a week-long tournament straight ahead. 
Watch the Education Network on Comcast Channel 234, keeping you informed. Hi. You think you're probably sober? Yeah. But you're thinking about taking the back roads home just in case. Why would you do that? Probably okay isn't okay. Call a cab, a car, or a friend. Good choice. Watch the Education Network for all your school news. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. On Comcast. Two, three, four. Suncoast High School has an incredible academic reputation wonderful sports teams and great clubs but what gets Sunco students really excited dodgeball every spring Suncoast hosts a campus-wide dodgeball tournament this year 30 six-person teams are throwing down battling for the championship it's competitive but it's also fun because you get to play with your friends and you get to play against your friends and it's in front of the whole school. Students pack the bleachers. The stands are rocking as fans cheer on the players. It's always in the spring. It's around testing time to just kind of like relieve, like have some fun for the week. So it's four days during lunch. It's really a lot of fun. They love it. Before a matchup, teammates get pumped up. Let's go, baby. Let's go. A whistle starts play. With five balls in the center of the court, players get eliminated by getting hit or when an opposing player catches their throw. A victory secured when you knock out the last player. Not only do the students love playing in the tournament, so do the teachers. Sure, it's our one chance to sort of get back, if you will, with these foam balls, of course. Yes, the foam ensures the only thing hurt is the players' pride after a defeat. Here the girls beat the boys. For the seventh straight year, Suncoast Dodgeball is a hit. I think I still have the bruises from my dodgeball days way back <laughs> when. <laughs> that hurt. Sorry. Um, but it's a lot nicer now. The balls are made out of foam and the kids are just yeah, having a great time. Yeah, it looked like they had a good stress reliever too. Yeah. Well, you know, it's easy for students at Carver Middle School to look up to Chicago Bears defensive lineman Akeem Hicks. I mean, for one thing, he's six feet, five <laughs> inches tall, weighs more than 320 pounds. But he made a lot of fans for his big heart. Akeem handed over a $5,000 check recently to the school's Success for Life Club and Perry Stokes, the man who is responsible for the club. Keem says Mr. Stokes has played an important part in his life, and that is why he wanted to give back and visit with the students. The middle schoolers got to ask Keem questions about the NFL. The donation will help fund Success for Life, which has benefited students for the last 15 years through various programs and activities. Well, first, my personal connection with Mr. Stokes and, and, and knowing what type of man and um, what, what he's brought to, to my life alone um, made me really interested in the program. Um, and to know that he's going to be, or he has been, influencing um, this next generation for several years, um, I, I really, some, something that I really wanted to get behind. I remember when I took him to the Kravitz Center, he almost knocked me down. He just walked in and saw the beauty of the place, and he hugged me. He said, I never would have gotten here, Mr. Stokes, if not for you. After the check ceremony, the students had a chance to take selfies with Akeem and get his autograph. Way to go, Akeem. Lots of fun. And speaking of fun, Mixing academics with engaging activities makes learning more enjoyable. Let's visit some campuses where learning is fun. Congress Middle School held its first STEAM night. Students and community members had many engaging activity stations from which to choose. The Palm Beach Zoo, Barnes & Noble, and the South Florida Science Center and Aquarium provided all of these activities. At Sandpiper Shores Elementary, fifth grade students have a blast in the media center using the latest technology. Reading e-books on iPads, virtual reality, and coding robots were just a few of the activities they could participate in. Students are excited to engage in the use of technology. 
And here's some food for thought for students learning about science. Frontier Elementary School kindergartners recently visited Bedner's Farms. They went on a buggy tour and learned all about vegetables and how they grow. They were also invited to pick some veggies and sample them. Just ahead, high school these days is probably far different than the one you recall. Coming up, a look at how some students are also earning college credit and career certifications before graduation. When our kids don't go to school every day, they get further and further behind. From preschool to high school, every day counts. They need to go to grow every day, all day. Attendance matters. Students in Palm Beach County now have more choice than ever through the new Controlled Open Enrollment Program. Beginning with the 2017-18 school year, the school district will offer parents and caregivers the opportunity for their child to apply for and attend a school outside their regular attendance zone. Registration dates run from April 3rd through May 5th. Find out more at www.palmbeachschools.org slash choice programs. Most party fouls are pretty dumb. But if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Underage drinking and driving, the ultimate party foul. Welcome back to Spotlight. You know, we've talked an awful lot about career choice programs today. One school that's known for its choice programs is Park Vista High School. I got to look at how students there are revving up their skills. Park Vista High School offers a state-of-the-art campus and a competitive curriculum preparing today's students for tomorrow's careers. No matter where you live in Palm Beach County, students can sign up and attend Park Vista High School and be a part of one of its three choice programs. These programs allow students to earn college credit and receive certifications in their chosen field. They are auto collision repair and refinishing, automotive service technology, and medical sciences. In the auto collision repair and refinishing program, students get right to work. We're going to make a continuous weld right up in this area here. This is a hands-on environment. Besides welding, students also learn about sheet metal repair, paint systems, and other trade skills. It's overwhelming to know that uh, they do get certified and they do uh, have a career uh, available to them in the auto industry. In automotive services technology, Park Vista students work on cars at one of 18 computerized service bays. Not many students in high school get to have this experience. We have a really big shop, a lot of tools. And the teachers provide the students how worn out the brake pads are with the tools they need to succeed in the real world. They are getting the experience, and again, they have to want to go and do this. And those are the students we're trying to get. The ones that sound like a car, they have oil in the veins, they're passionate, that's what they want to do. In medical sciences, the emphasis is also on a hands-on type of training. Here, students learn how to successfully draw blood by working on a phlebotomy arm. This comprehensive program combines a rigorous academic curriculum with intense clinical and laboratory experience. The best thing for me is when I hear they get into medical school or they're actually doing the professions that they learned about here, or they say to me, it's great that you taught me this, it's helped me so much in college. For students zoned to attend Park Vista High School, they can be part of the Multimedia Communications Program. Students here start with an Information Technology Foundation and then move into areas such as computer graphics, web design, technical support, and entrepreneurship. Another aspect of the program is working in the TV studio. Today's the last day to buy your senior videos for $5. Students gather news, write scripts, and put a newscast together. As you can see, Park Vista has the programs, but what makes this school special are the people. I like Park Vista High School because everyone's so welcoming and friendly. We did it, my son! I love Park Vista for the atmosphere, the people, the fun. We always have fun. We have a lot of spirit here. So 
like the teachers and the students here. Like we're all like a, a family here and it's just, it's so welcoming. Everywhere you turn, you see Park Vista pride. Pride in the sports teams, pride in the clubs, the campus and the classes. Yes, the students at Park Vista High School definitely have Cobra pride. The school district of Palm Beach County, your best choice. Okay, time now to check out the community calendar. The Fashion Academy at Wellington High School invites you to a night of elegance. This fashion show takes place on April 19th, beginning at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 in advance and $10 at the door. For more information, call 561-797-2265. Interested in becoming a teacher in Palm Beach County? The school district is holding two job fairs. Join us for the Glades Teacher Job Fair on May 11th from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Glades Regional Office in Belle Glade. The second teacher recruiting event is Teach Palm Beach. That job fair takes place on May 20th on the campus of Park Vista High School in Lake Worth from 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Find out more and register in advance at palmbeachschools.org slash jobs. Do you have education news to share? We'd like to know about it. You can email the details at goodnews at palmbeachschools.org. And that'll do it for this week's edition of Spotlight on Education, brought to you by the Education Network. Keeping you informed.